so you finish your project car, it's running, it's got a good base tune on it, you can drive, a, drive it here and there. And now you want to get to tuning the car. You want to take it to a tuner, you want to do it yourself. Everything that this video starts out with is how not to tune your car or how not to bring your car to a tuner. Um, I made the mistake of starting to film this video with the idea that I could jump into it and just start tuning it. And I got halfway through it and realized that, you know, the car is not in any condition or ready to be tuned. It's motors in, it's running, but please, for the love of God, don't throw your car together like that and bring it to a tuner because that is not how you do things. The car needs to be dialed in. It can't have any leaks, no exhaust leaks, obviously no fluid leaks, no boost leaks. Make sure everything on the car is up and running as it should be before you bring it to a tuner. So for today, I'm gonna to be showing you how not to bring your car to a tuner, at least in the first half of the video. Like I said, I started filming this stuff and then I realized about halfway through like, hey, this is what people do when they bring their cars to tuners and expect them to magically make everything work and run perfectly fine. No tuner wants to sit there and spend half the day fixing your oil leaks, fixing your exhaust leaks, running into little issues, replumbing your vacuum lines. No tuner wants to sit there and do that. They're not gonna wanna help you out. So right after this intro here, I started driving my car and there were exhaust leaks everywhere. Don't do it. I didn't hurt my car, but um, it, I, as you saw, I got nowhere with it. But for now, enjoy this clip of me attempting to tune this car with all the problems that it still has. What's going on everybody? Today we've got a little something different. Again, something different. Coming at you with uh, a little bit of tuning, a little bit of uh, fresh engine startup routine that I do personally. Everyone has their own stuff that they do, but this is gonna be kind of what I go through. Now I already flushed the oil once. I let it go through a couple heat cycles with some cheap oil in it. Flushed it, put some fresh oil in it, took the oil filter out, and I actually got one of these nifty tools right here. Now what this is, is it'll actually cut the oil filter open for me. And then you can pull the oil filter out and inspect if there's any kind of loose metal shavings or anything like that in there. It looks really good. With that said, we're gonna carry on with the Honda. Now, the, there's a couple problems that I'm running into with the tuning. The biggest problem I'm having is my header, my exhaust. So obviously when it comes to tuning your car, you really need to dial in your air fuel ratio. And unfortunately, I've got major exhaust leaks. The header that's on this car is about seven, eight years old and it's rough. With that said, new header is on the way, but for today, I'm at least gonna do everything I can to get the car running. We'll get some POV driving. Um, I'm trying something different. I've never done this before, but I've seen a couple videos on it and I really like how it looks and I think it'll be really good for the VTEC engagement in this car because I don't know how else you can get the feeling the way the VTEC engages in this car other than a POV drive. It, it is awesome, it sounds awesome. Um, it sounds really stupid because like, it's a Honda, right? All right, go ahead and upload the new tune. car is kind of a mess, but uh... Alright. So, I have major exhaust leaks in this car. Now, can I data log? Yes. Should I? Yes. Am I going to? Probably not. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way where we just drive the car. see him on the camera here. It's just all over the place. VTEC pops loud. Holy crap. Too 
bunch of fuel. All right, so let's back it down a little bit. I think I'm just running a little rich. You guys we're back in the garage uh test drive went good overall i got some more tuning to do which i'm gonna go get my laptop but generally speaking i have a couple things i really want to tidy up on this car number one i don't know if you can see being my exhaust it rubs on my lower control arm don't judge on how it's tied up here all right yes i know it could be done better but this is what i have right now i don't have a welder aside from that i gotta clean that up because it is an absolute mess down here. Clean up my wiring, vacuum out the car. I got my old relay still in here. We got leaves from fucking five years ago, probably. Another thing that I need to tidy up is the relay. So this is a relay adapter that I found on eBay. So it just plugs right into the factory main relay location and you can update your relay with the newer style relay. It doesn't take much. And this is a relay that you can get from anywhere nowadays unlike the factory relay that you have to special order and they're way too expensive these relays are like 10 15 dollars if that hopefully this microphone stays up here i got i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with all this stuff because this is this is getting kind of to be too much i'm gonna try my best to really get this situated over here all right so what we have done so I zip tied the wire up here, so it's not pulling down on my carpet. And I screwed my bolt to my ECU here, but gives me enough room to run my USB over here and enough room to run my wiring so it's not all kinked up over here. It's not perfect by any means, but you know what? To be honest, it's better than 99% of the modified Hondas that are out there. Don't hate. You know what? I don't, I don't even care. You, you can hate all you want. It is what it is. I'm just gonna clean up, vacuum this all out. It's been way too long since I've detailed this car. I had a rat chew through here. This car has gone through so many stages of my life. It's a learning experience. We're, get, we're getting there, we're getting there. I got a lot of cleaning to do here, so I'm gonna get to that. I think I first gotta start with that. Like, look at that, that's, that's all nasty. Isn't this pleasant? All sorts of rat shit. Golly, this is rough. All right, so this is disgusting to say the least. Unfortunately, I went to remove my climate control pod yesterday and it was kind of cracked to begin with. Well, let me just say that when I went to remove it completely, it totally disintegrated. Now for the seats, I am eventually going to be putting in, you've probably noticed this in past videos, these are my old BRZ seats. I love these seats. I love the seats out of these cars um, so much in fact that these are gonna be going in this car. All right, so this is something kind of embarrassing, but uh, I have a really bad rubbing noise, my exhaust, and it rubs right here all the freaking time. So I, it's kind of hung up right now with coat hangers and yeah, yeah. You've never had a 90s Honda if you've never had to wire up your exhaust with coat hanger. 
It's just, it's like a rite of passage. I'm pretty sure I need to do this side as well. Just ever so slightly. All right. There we go. Ooh, ah. All right, so hopefully. Yeah. So. Speed wraps like a heart attack. Fast fatal heart impact. Past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and packs. I back up my actions. Facts don't ask. Trap reactions. Jack attack with every weapon. Act with class. As they hear me. So, if you guys must know, um, this is my old header. It's pretty much identical to the new one. But, but, however, the tips are different, so that's a kind of a problem. I might be able to cut that off. The biggest problem I'm having is that on the CRX, it gets uh, flattened out pretty quickly. New one, old one. Gucci. Isn't this just so great? So much fun. Uh-oh. That's exciting. Good enough for now. And of course, naturally, nothing ever goes to plan. And the header I have also has this little lip on it. And these bolt holes are way too far apart. Super fun stuff. <laughs> I had to take a quick break. Actually, I had to take a very long couple quick breaks. Basically, I've gotten nothing done today. I got more ventilation. I opened yet another door and my fan is blowing, but my fan is also broken. It's gonna be making even more noise now. And you guys, I apologize. No, I don't apologize. You're just gonna have to live with the fan because I'm not gonna die from heat exhaustion. With that said, let's get this header installed. I hope it fits. We're gonna use the China Supply Gasket because it's thicker and it's more forgiving for the shitty surface that they provide on this gas, on this man. Be a legend, not a myth. It's obnoxious that I'm conscious. Rapping on it says promise. Try to harness as an artist, stay modest. It's a long quest. I will not quit till 10,000 people going on. When I drop this, I gotta make it now. Swear to God, I'm breaking out. Swear to God, I'll take a bow. Send the stage with the crowd. Cause I got it figured out. I'm just honest and I'm loud. Say I'm modest. But I'm proud, no, I never had a I'm doubt. Just like yeah. a soldier. I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. Yo, this is why you buy good stuff, not this cheap crap. Don't do what I do. Look at this. Look how crooked this is. Now, I could probably loosen it up down there and adjust it, but they don't have exhaust leaks. I'd rather have an exhaust leak back here than an exhaust leak up there. Golly, this sucks. Okay, so I'm just getting comfortable down here. Oh, by the way, I got it. Don't worry, it's not beautiful, but I got it. So now, I gotta redo some uh, wideband wiring here. I've got a splice here, and I got another splice over here. You look at that, just look at it. If you didn't know, you can actually get your wideband wiring in different lengths. Who knew? It took me eight years to figure that out. So we're gonna install this so I don't have all that extra stuff in a splice harness, and hopefully my wideband works better. Fixing all my exhaust leaks, we can get some quality tuning time put in on this car. Look, 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 look at all this. Look at all this nonsense. Just gonna throw it away. I take my new wire and just la di da, plug it in, shove it in. I got nothing after that. So somehow I still have extra wiring, but um, we're just we're just gonna wind that up and pretend it doesn't exist. But that's the shortest cable I could get, and I still have extra. So, if you must know, three foot is plenty of length on the Innovate wideband. All right. So, just going over some quick things. What I've done. We got shiny new headers. eBay, TriY, 
they're gonna bottom out. They're gonna get destroyed by driving the car because that's what we do. We drive the car. Installed my new wiring for the Innovate Wideband O2 sensor. And I did it off camera, but went ahead and calibrated it. All right, let's check this out. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's not, that's, that's kind of rich. That's, that's quite rich. Let's, uh, let's back the car up and see how it's doing with the tuning and everything. I'm, I'm okay with it so far. Let's get my laptop. If you work for a company that gets extra laptops and uh, you need to get rid of them, hitch your boy up. He could use a new laptop for tuning, obviously, for the business. I should just start an LLC with this. Hope I remembered everything. Famous last words, right? Here we go. you guys I guess that's gonna do it for this one I am super happy with how this all turned out uh, I still got a little bit of fine-tuning to do obviously on this car but for what it is and for what I've put into it I can't be any happier it's been a very long journey for just such a simple thing but you know that's that's kind of the joy and part of it you know you never know what you know run into along the way and when you're trying to do things on a budget you're really gonna run into issues and Unfortunately, with this car, it's it's definitely on a budget. I can't wait for what's in store with this vehicle. Obviously, I'm going to continue to modify it. It's going to be an autocross build. This entire car, its its end goal is going to be autocross street car. But for today, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It, thank you guys so much for following along, being a part of this, being a part of my Z build. I know you guys are anxiously awaiting that. At the end of the day like i get it i get it like you've seen this stuff a million times but what's crazy is you're not seeing it as much anymore everyone's doing the k series motors which is cool and all but it's getting kind of played out and i really like the fact that i kept the b18 b20 setup in this car and i hope you guys appreciate that I'm trying to stay true to my honda roots you know stick with it we got a long ways to go Thank you guys so much for following along. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Don't miss out on future content. We'll catch you all next time. Take care.